Hey everybody, so welcome back. So today we have an update on the cruise. Uh, just passed its four year anniversary in, in August. And again, it's October, so it's, yeah, it's a little bit over four years. Car currently has 89,000 miles on it. And um, so I figured I'd post an update on it. I was actually gonna post an update on it about three or four weeks ago. And um, the day I was actually getting ready to film because it was beautiful out and everything else, it actually, the car went down. And uh, so what happened was uh, we were out and about and uh, as I was pulling in the driveway, I got a message on the uh, on the driver information center that said air conditioning has been disabled due to high em engine temperatures. I looked at the temperature gauge and it was, pe it was pegged all the way in the hot. I shut it right off and then uh, opened up the, uh, the hood and um, it was just filled with anti antifreeze and cooling all over the place. So I called up the dealer. I had it flat bedded down there. And originally I, I thought that the water pump had failed, which these are known for. So I, it really didn't surprise me that it did go because I um, I was actually kind of surprised that it didn't happen beforehand. And uh, cause again, these cars have a, a knack of having the water pump fail. So I get a call from the dealer. It says uh, the water pump was actually fine. It was actually the thermostat. And the thermostat actually failed in the closed position, which is supposed to never happen. Um, it's always supposed to fail in the open position. So what happened, it failed in the closed position and the car just started boiling over and it boiled over right at the point of the thermostat housing and all the coolant um, escaped the engine and onto the driveway and everything else. So. It was still covered under the five year, 100,000 mile warranty from, from GM. So no cost to me since then, no issues with the car. Um, what else has happened with the car? Back in November of uh, 2016, in between the updates, the car was actually hit, my, minor collision. Um, um, I was actually sitting at a stoplight. There was a car in front of me, the light turned red. And for whatever reason, she put it in reverse and ba essentially backed into me and with a Ford Escape. And uh, her uh, Ford Escape had a two inch receiver ball on it. And essentially punctured the bumper cover. And um, so this thing got a new bumper cover on it uh, a little less than a year ago. Um, so that's holding up pretty well. The uh, Another thing to note is the uh, car has again has 89,000 miles on it. Um, these are the original Goodyear fuel assurance tires on it. They are ready to be replaced. So I'm not sure what I'm going to put on it next. Um, but very happy with these tires. They get 90,000 miles out of a set of tires. Um, that's pretty good. N nothing to really complain about. But I think I'm going to go get a another set of tires a little bit more comfort oriented um so a little bit more quieter because you know these tires are good for fuel mileage but they are very harsh and they are kind of noisy at times so i'm going to see what i can find that uh a little bit quieter and a little bit uh more of a nicer ride so because now that gas is way below three dollars a gallon um, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the, the hit I'm going to take on the fuel mileage and I'll deal with it. So, but you know, would I buy this car again? Uh, at this point I would say, yeah, if, if nothing changes in, in my current work situation and the amount of miles I have to drive every day. Yeah, absolutely. I would because you know, I bought this thing to really save money on gas and it has done that by leaps and bounds. Really can't complain. Um, but, you know, like I said before, uh, it's kind of like driving a, uh, an appliance. Um, it's like driving your refrigerator to work. At this point, it serves a basic function, and that's about it. Um, it doesn't really excite me to drive it. It's just kind of one of those things. It's, it's just expected to start and stop and drive and take me to work and, and back and forth. That's about it. And I really don't expect anything out of it other than that. So, But, you know... With that being said, I, I really have no complaints of the car. It really has been very reliable. So, but, but yeah, that's it. Uh, I figured I'd post this uh, just to give everyone an update. And anyway, subscribe to the channel that does have a Chevy Cruze. So, 
If you like what you saw, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe and also click on the bell to receive all updates on the channel and to stay up to date. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.